coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Please excuse the position, the lighting, the sound, the dogs that you're probably going to see. So I'm way overdue for a declutter video and I wanted to declutter my highlighters which are in this little cubby right here. And now that I'm doing my declutter series, I find it a lot easier to use this camera because I can show you guys stuff up close and it actually does autofocus. I don't know if you guys are new to my channel, but the camera that I typically film with is very, very old. It doesn't autofocus. It doesn't have a viewfinder. I mean, I'm making miracles happen with it, but it's my tried and true. I love it so much and I don't want to upgrade it. This is my vlogging camera. And so I figure with declutter videos, it's a lot easier because I can show you guys like an up close swatch or the product or whatever. Um, FYI, I don't want to repeat myself like I do in every declutter video, but when I do declutters, it's basically products that I feel are duplicates. They aren't standalone great. Someone else could benefit from them. Uh, my aunt, my sister-in-law, my cousin, my neighbor, whatever would like it better. So it's just basically just cleaning house, you know what I mean? Like you have too much stuff, so if it's something that you think think you're not gonna use or someone could use more of or uh, it's been a while or maybe it's expired, I'm just kind of cleaning stuff up. And with highlighters, it's tricky because I really like them. If I'm, if I'm moving kind of weird, it's because my poodle's down here and I'm like massaging her neck. <laughs> um, so, um, see? So with highlighters, it's hard for me because they're pretty and sparkly. And when anything is pretty and sparkly, I'm like, ooh, squirrel. You know, I want to keep everything. And it doesn't make any sense, especially with highlighters, because it's there's not that much of a significant difference if you really think about it. Yes, I went there. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, so let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I... There's not going to be any rhyme or reason to this, except I'm just going to try not to get a concussion. <laughs> but aside from that, this whole cubby is my highlighters. I don't think I have highlighters anywhere else, honestly. I thought it was going to be hard. Like, I thought I had more. But it's really just this entire cubby. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, this is... <laughs> this is Blend That Shit from Love Lux Beauty, um, and it's really, really pretty, but it's not a highlighter for me. I mean, this is more of an eyeshadow that I would need to foil, so I'm gonna set that aside, and if I decide that I wanna keep it as a shadow, then I'll move it from this area. You know what I'm saying? This one is Benefits Dandelion, and I've been using this a lot. It's a really great highlighter for those of you that want to wear highlighter for like work or school because it still gives you that glow without being like wham bam, super in your face. Um, this is, what is this? Bronzed Amber from Becca. Look at that, bronzed amber, and it's brand spanking new, never been used, and this is way too dark for me, so that's going in the pass on pile. Then we have, what is this, rose gold from Becca. It's also never been used or never been swatched. I have a feeling that's also going to be too dark for me, and I hate to swatch it. I'd hate to swatch it, realize it's too dark, and then I can't pass it on to someone. So I'm just gonna pass it on. Um, hello, this is definitely defined from MAC. Look how beat up it is. This is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. When I want my highlighter to show up, I mean show up, that's the one I go for. Like that one is not shy. This is also another one of my favorites. This is Kitten from Stila, and it's that really cool, like almost putty-like formula. Super cool. I wear that on days where I'm not even wearing makeup. <laughs> yeah. This is a highlighter palette from Flower Beauty, which is really great. I like to keep this as a drugstore option because the highlighters are really, really buttery and super intense. I don't know if you guys can see that. I should have totally turned my lights so you can actually see the intensity of like the glow. But we're just going to pretend that you can see the intensity of the glow. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. Um, for drugstore, did you see I almost like killed myself right now? Did you see that? Thank God it's being documented. Um, then we have the Makeup Revolution Radiance Palette, another really good drugstore option, but I'm actually gonna put this in the maybe pile because they're great highlighters, but they're very subtle. 
So when it comes to highlighters for me, I'm very picky with how subtle I choose my highlighters to be. Like if they're, they need to be like that perfect amount of subtlety because if they're too subtle or almost, almost like a, almost like a, do you see right there? If it's almost like one of those blurring powders as opposed to an actual highlighter, I'm like, ah, oh, do I really want to go there? So that's going to be in the maybe pile. Maybe pile? Yeah, maybe pile. So maybe pile. These are the ones I'm keeping, and then these are the ones I'm passing on that are brand new. Um, I guess I need to have a passing on used, right? This is Moonstone. I do love my Moonstone, but you can tell I hardly ever use it. Let's see. Yeah, I really don't use that ever, hardly. I'm gonna give that to my mom. She'll probably like it. So uh, used pass on pile. I guess over here, we'll put that over there. This one is uh, what mermaids are made of from Love Lux Beauty. And as much as I like this, I couldn't pull it off ever at all, even like an eyeshadow. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So Love Lux Beauty made these like really cool um, highlighters when that whole like rainbow mermaid trends stuff like that was popular. Um, it's really beautiful, but I could never, ever rock that, ever, ever. I wish I could, but it wouldn't look good on me. This one is uh, what unicorns are made of. This was when the whole rainbow highlighter splatter type uh, trend was happening. Again, this is another type of highlighter that I can't, I can't rock. I wish I could. I'm over here bragging about my autofocus and it's not doing me any services right now. Look at that. So, look how beautiful it is. It's like a shift. It's so pretty. It's like a blue, purpley, lavender, pinkish hue shift. It reminds me of um, Unicorn Tears from Too Faced, like the actual lipstick. It looks just like that. Now I have the four Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I did a review on these, I think it was an Are They Worth the Hype video. Um, there are four of them, and um, I bought them, I think it was Black Friday, I think they were having a Black Friday sale or something like that, where they were on sale, and you got a free highlighter brush, but they're insanely dark for me. Like these highlighters are way too dark, they're beautiful, but they're just way too dark for me. This is Riviera, super beautiful. It looks like the darker side of Definitely Defined from MAC, um, but it's too dark. And then this one is uh, Peach Nectar, another really pretty color, but again, extremely dark. They're just so pretty. And this is what happens to me with these things is I get almost, sucked in with like the glow and the prettiness of them and how beautiful they are and so I want to keep them but they're not really I can't really pull them off these two this is starlight and this is so Hollywood um starlight I really like so Hollywood how many gold highlighters does the person really need this is like that typical um whisper of guilt um gold you know what i'm saying it's that 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 gold that's done up all the time i'm gonna keep these two but not because i need them so at the end i may end up changing my mind um this is makeup forever see here's that gold again that makeup forever gold just like the one that i just swatched from anastasia beverly hills look at you guys side by side right there same two golds um, oh, I don't know what to do. I'll put that in the maybe pile. Um, this one is a highlighter from 100% Pure, and I got this when I was reviewing the brand. It's a really beautiful, um, this reminds me of a powder that MAC discontinued that's like a really beautiful pink, it's like a soft focus powder. So you take the powder and you kind of just blend it across, almost like if you were wearing like a hero mask, like a Zorro mask. So you blend it in this area and it just blurs out that entire area. But um, it is a all natural, organic, healthy brand. These expire in like five minutes. 
So I'm going to put that in, oh, where does this go? Pass on pile? Yeah, pass on pile. Okay. Then, all right, we're down to one drawer, or ra rather, we just finished one drawer. We're still got like four more drawers. <laughs> This is 24 karat shimmer brick. This was a gift from a friend of mine, or rather someone that used to be my friend. Um, it was a limited edition Bobbi Brown um, shimmer brick. It's a gold, um, but it's one of those um, uh, gold highlighters that's really, really soft and delicate, and then you can kind of play around with it to see which, um, come on you little brat. You can play around with it to see how dark you want to do it, but it's not as like smooth or buttery as say like the Anastasia one. So um, I'm going to put that in the, I don't know if I should give it to my mom or if I should put it in the maybe pile because I know my mom would love it, but I also don't like to pass on gifts. I think that's such a dick thing to do. All right, I'll put it in the maybe pile. Then I have Camellia de Plumes from Chanel. I would never ever pass this on. I would never, I would never do anything with this except keep it forever and ever and ever. This is a highlighter that my mom got for me. Not only is it a really special gift, she got it to, she got it for me. I think for my thirtieth birthday, but it's also an amazing highlighter. So we're keeping that. Uh, what else do we got here? These are Laura Mercier highlighters. This is the baked highlight in one. This is perfect for every day, for work, for school. It's not very, it's not glittery at all. It's a very soft focus powder. It's very beautiful and it's very neutral. Um, and then this one is Spellbound. This was a limited edition, then they repackaged it, or rather they re-promoted it with a different name. And I was like, what? Get out of here, Laura Mercier. It's a beautiful color, but I feel like it's kind of dark for me as a highlighter, you know? So we'll keep that. We'll keep it in case my tan gets a little darker. <laughs> You're the worst, Danny. All right, then we have Makeup Forever in 01. This is one of my favorites. It's so pretty. It's like, is it pink? Is it pearl? Is it champagne? What color is it? Who cares? It's so beautiful. Um, Then... This is, what is this? Opal. Opal is one of those highlighters that looks great on everyone. And then when I try to wear it, I'm like, really, Danny? Really? You think, you really think you can get away with Opal? Opal is such a stunning highlighter, but I feel like it's really hard for me to pull it off. Actually, right now that I'm tan and with my super beautiful hairy arms, it looks kind of nice. All right, we're keeping that. We're not getting much uh, decluttering happening here. This is a pixie highlighter uh, called London Luster. It's one of my favorites. It was a collaboration with another um, blogger that is not focusing. Come on, woo, woo, it's really pretty. I really, really like it. And this one along with this other one, this is like the more peachy one. This one's called Santorini Sunset really really pretty highlighters and they're great healthier brand it's a great healthier brand and it's also a drugstore brand so it's affordable so we're gonna keep those not doing a good job danny this is ofra highlighter in blissful this is one of those highlighters that at the time seems like a good idea but once you put it on you're like is it though and you're like man is it really a good idea because it's really intense you see that not only is it really soft, but it's super metallic and it has a little splash of like micro glitter in there. Oh, it's beautiful though, but no, we're passing that on. Passing that sucker on. The lighting in here is horrendous. Let me see if I can turn up this one and it'll look better. Is that better? Is it a little better? Is it, it's kind of bright, isn't it? Is it bad? Whatever, you guys. This is this is as good as it's gonna get. Plus, my highlighter looks awesome. <laughs> okay, let's pull out the drawer so that I can actually close this door and we don't have that horrendous reflection. How does it look? Hmm. Okay, we can work with that. Okay, this is Bobbi Brown Pink Glow. <laughs> Y'all be out of your mind if you think I'm ever getting rid of this. This is a limited edition product. It is so pretty, you guys. Look at this. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I love this highlighter. We're keeping that forever and ever and ever. Mary Luminizer from The Balm. 
If you guys like intense highlighters and an affordable one, one that also works great as an eyeshadow, one that is super soft, easy to blend, but it's super intense and majestic and amazing, <gasps> Mary Luminizer. It's one of the best. One of the best, hands down, I need another napkin. One of the best hands down highlighters ever of all time, forever and ever. Another one of my holy grail highlighters is Portofino from uh, Laura Geller. And this highlighter is a neutral gold. So if you wanna go the gold route with a highlighter, but you don't want that like super bronzed look or um, I feel like a lot of times gold highlighters are dark. They're not gold and they're not, they're not gold where someone with like a fair or light complexion can really pull off. This one, this one has your back sister. So if you guys want like a neutral gold, Portofino from Laura Geller is awesome. This is Oh Darling from MAC. And this was like, oh, it's just like Whisper of Guilt. It's so awesome. It's actually really awesome. It's limited edition. It has the fancy packaging, whatever. We're keeping it because packaging. Y'all know how we roll. This, uh, I think this is broken. Oh, wow, look at, you see you open it up? This is candlelight from Too Faced. And then it's like, <laughs> it's turned. Okay, <laughs> we can do that. Um, this one, I could just, I could never get used to the texture. Do you see that texture on the tip of my fingers? I really could never get used to the texture. It's just, it's kind of yuck. So we're gonna put that in the pass on slash probably throw away pile. <laughs> Um, then we have the three from Urban Decay, and I just haven't been able to really get on this Urban Decay highlighter trend. I feel like they're, I feel like they're chalky. And I feel bad saying that because you guys know I'm like a hardcore Megadeth fan of Urban Decay, but they're just, I feel like they fall short. I feel like we need to go back to the drawing board and we need to try again because Urban Decay just, I mean, all their products are wonderful. And these just, no, I don't know you guys. They're not, they're underwhelming. Tried and true, Max Soft and Gentle because Soft and Gentle. This is a must have for all makeup lovers, makeup collectors. This is Wet n Wild. Um, Wet n Wild Holly Goldhead. Everyone calls it the gold brick, but it's actually called Holly Goldhead. It's just a gold highlighter. It's pretty and it's awesome and it was in my favorites. And I love that it's an affordable drugstore highlighter because those are really tricky to find. But um, I'm gonna keep it for the simple fact that it's cute and limited edition, but not because it's anything like, oh my God, out of this world, super awesome. It is super awesome, but there are others like it. This is Stardust from Mally Beauty, um, and this comes with a blush as well, but look at that. Can we talk about that for a second? It's like holy intensity, Batman. I'm going to put that on the top right here. That's right there. Do you see where, do you see how my knuckles are glowing? Like, do you see if these knuckles came directly at your face? It would be like, oh my God, I got punched by the gold woman. <laughs> In my mind, that's like a superhero or something, I guess. <gasps> Could you imagine being like a superhero where you, you just glow like, a, like, like, like you're covered in highlighter, like whisper of guilt all over you. <laughs> okay, we're keeping that. We're keeping that drama queen. This is um, the Estee Edit Flash Illuminator Fluid Powder in Heat. This is so good, you guys. Super, super good. I love it. Look at that. It's like, it's like a neutral gold with like a little bit of glitter. Like just, a, just a scotch. Just a little, a little dab dab of a, of a little glitter. So it's kind of nice. Okay, we are almost done. We just have this last tray here and then this palette. I'm gonna keep all of these in here. These are all the ones from Love Lux Beauty and they're all really, really awesome. These are actually some that I would pull off. Even the green and the, the baby blue down here, they're really, really, really great highlighters. So we're gonna keep all of those. And then we have Stila Kitten. 
But this is the duo, which I never reach for, so I'm gonna pass that on to a loving home. Kevin Aquan's Candlelight. This is a classic, awesome, amazing, really good quality highlighter for like a really nice event. Like if you're going to a wedding, if it's your own wedding, um, if you have some she, she, she event to go to, it's gonna give you the glow without like the glow. You know what I'm saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. This is from Laura Geller. It's called Rose Gold. I've Rose Glow. I've never used it. It's absolutely brand new, but I can tell you right now that it's probably too dark for me. So we're gonna put that in the never been used pass on pile. Um, Charming Pink and Gilded Honey from Laura Geller are also two favorites if you can get used to the texture. These are those hard baked products that you have to kind of almost be really rough with if you wanna get some color out of them, but they're really good. So definitely recommend those two. And I think there are like four or five in the collection. Um, then we have Laura Geller's French Vanilla. I don't get the hype around this. So many people like this, but it's actually a matte highlighter. Can't get on that trend, you guys. Can't get behind it. I don't know, maybe I just don't know how to use them. Estee Lauder's Heat Wave. Limited edition, super hard to find. This is one of those like holy grail. And I don't mean holy grail like permanent staples. I mean holy grail like it's hard to find or to scout. Um, it's a, it's a product that people hunt down. Like literally they hunt it like Bigfoot. So I have to keep that. It's like my moral obligation to keep it. Um, then we have sleek makeup. What am I doing with this? Like what am I doing with this and what am I doing with my life? We all know where that's going. Senna Cosmetics in uh, Divine Shine Highlighter and Glow in 01. <gasps> This is way too expensive for what it is, but it's really beautiful. Like, it's stunning, but it's really expensive. I probably wouldn't buy it again if I had to. Like, if I had the opportunity to buy it again at like a makeup trade show, I wouldn't because it's ridiculously expensive, but it's really good. Two more and we're done. This is the Solstice Palette, palette from Sleek Makeup. If you get one highlighter palette in your entire life, this palette will change your life. Like literally, this palette will change your life. It looks orange and pink and creamy and yuck and like it's gonna look horrendous, like you're not gonna like it. I promise you, you guys, if you trust me on one thing, you will love this highlighter palette. I'm not even gonna swatch it for you guys. I just need to see how bad you actually trust me. <laughs> it's so good, it's super good, like you're gonna love it. And then Becca's Champagne Pop, you guys. This is one of those highlighters that everyone and their mama is like, oh my God, champagne pop, it changes your life, you need it in your life, it's a cult product, it's champagne pop. You guys, it's champagne pop. It's gonna change your life. It doesn't look good on me. I've tried and I've tried and I bought it when it initially came out to do a review on it. I hated it so I didn't do a review and I didn't hate the product, I just hate how it looked on me. I didn't do the review. Then when I started to get Becca, um, samples or PR, I kept getting it. Like they included it in so many releases and I was just like, I kept trying, kept trying and it just doesn't love me back, you guys. So that's it for this highlighter declutter. Let's see what we actually are getting rid of. Okay, so we put away all the ones we're keeping and these are the ones that we are passing on. Like it's incredible how all of this fit into here because this still looks full to me, but you guys, so the three that are brand new, never been touched, I guess I'll put those in a giveaway pile, would that be weird? A lot of times when we get samples like those, they don't come in packaging, it's never been touched. Maybe I'll just give it to my mom, I don't know. Anyway, and then all of these, like we're gonna pass on all of these products. Isn't that nuts? That is insane. It's crazy how much stuff you can accumulate in such a short period of time. I'll leave a playlist with all my other decluttering videos in the description box below. I will also leave a list of like my highly, highly recommended ones. I know I raved and raved about a lot of them, but I probably could say I have like a top five, maybe a top 10 of highlighter must-haves, or rather some that you can actually still find. Um, I will leave those in the description box below. 
Um, and I guess we're just gonna be doing these declutter videos like maybe once a month because we're kind of narrowing it down. The only things we have left to do are blush, um, lip products, blush and lip products. That's that's gonna be a major tackle. Uh, I think we're done with the decluttering series. <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys so much and you know what to do if you guys found this video useful entertaining or learned something Please give us a paw up or subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over. Bye guys